Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We're so glad that you could be here uh, and we could study God's Word together. You know, God's Word is so interesting and uh, uh, in God's Word we see that, um, especially in the life of Jesus, in the ministry of the, uh, of the Lord, uh, the people who came and asked Him certain questions. And uh, the questions were interesting and so were the responses. And as the Lord answered these questions, you know, when we study them, we can learn much and also apply this in our lives. We can apply this truth in our lives. So we're doing this series where we're looking at these questions which people asked the Lord Jesus and studying the answers which the Lord gave them. Okay, so today we're going to look at uh, Matthew chapter 22 and verses 36 to 40. So there was this scribe, there was this lawyer, and as the Lord was teaching them, the, lawyer, the scribe came and asked the Lord, this question. Verse 36, Matthew chapter 22 says, Teacher, which is the greatest or which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So, very interesting conversation and an interesting question and an equally res interesting response. The, law, the scribe came and asked the Lord, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? You know, asking, you know, which is the most important one so that I can do that and I can be done with it. Uh, and the Lord answers and saying, He brings focus to God Himself. He says, you shall love the Lord your God. And this is the manner in which you shall love the Lord your God. With all your heart, no half measures there, wholeheartedly. Right? With all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind. Meaning, Everything to do with your thoughts, your imaginations, your intentions, your motives, everything. Your intellectual capacity, you know, you love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind. And he didn't stop with that. He went on to give another commandment. Said, And the second commandment is like this. Like this you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, the Lord brought the focus onto God. You know, the, the uh, Westminster Catechism has this, uh, it goes like this. It says, the chief end of man is to glorify God and enjoy Him forever. The chief end of man, we mean the purpose, um, the objective is to know God, to glorify God and enjoy Him forever. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13 has this to say, it says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is man's all. So at the center of everything, you know, we might think that we are at the center of life itself. Everything revolves around us. But really, everything is around Him. So we are commanded to love God, which means we have to know Him in order to love Him, in order to journey with Him. So knowing God, loving God is the chief purpose of man. And the Lord says in Matthew 6 and verse 33, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. So that's the priority. God comes first. He takes first preference, first priority and everything in our lives and everything else falls in place. Let's pray. Father God, today we ask, O oh God, that our priorities will be realigned. If they are out of place, I pray they'll be put back in place. With you right at the top, O oh God, that we will love you with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our soul, with all our strength, with everything within us, O oh God, that we will love you. And we will seek your kingdom and your righteousness first and foremost. For this is what we are called to do, and when we do that, we know that everything else will fall in place. May we experience this 
even as we apply this word. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.